Yo, it's really good, my people. Y'all know who it is. Y'all know what it is. Let's get into this one, man. So, K Flock has just been hit with a ton of bricks, man. For anybody that's been rooting for this kid to beat his murder charges and and possibly be back on the scene making music in the near future, that has seriously been put on hold now. Now that the feds have unsealed an indictment an indictment charging him with murder and Rico and he faces up to life in prison and he can he can even get the death penalty they said this is a this is a huge blow for him I'm sure his family <coughs> any of his fans that were rooting up for him the reality now is that K Flock will probably be spending the rest of his life in jail I mean, I thought that you know, with the the circumstances surrounding his case that he just had, that he's that he's ha that he's facing right now, it looks to me to be a clear cut, quote unquote, self defense case. Even though there is no self defense in New York, but they do take into consideration certain things. That being said, there's no self defense, but they won't give you life if they see that you're defending yourself. In other words, you might could get five, six, seven years. You know what I'm saying for a murder. Um, but now with this Rico case and this Fed case, man, it just looks like they're trying to turn his lights out. Um, and what do you expect when you're doing all this shit, when you're in your rhymes, telling, telling on yourself, the first person that really did this, and I'm not going to say the first, but the real, the, they all should have learned from Bobby Schmurder and what he did in that song, you know, hot nigga. He told everything that they were doing. Now, I'm not saying that they weren't already watching them or whatever, but that was kind of a blueprint to what they were doing. He put names in it. He put certain situations in it. And K-Flock and all these other young boys, these other young drill rappers, they do this shit on the regular. This is what they do. They talk about the people that they killed. They talk about the areas that they spin. They talk about how many times they shot out, shot it out with the police, with, with, uh, with, the, with their ops. They talk about the drugs. They, like, they talk about everything in detail. So, it's not a surprise to me. It's just sad because this kid is only 19 years old. And he's he's very talented. And he was making a name for himself. And now, he will possibly die in jail. It's sad, man. I really, my, my heart goes out to him. My heart goes out to his family. You know, I'm sure his mother is crushed. I'm sure anybody that, you know, really knows him and is rooting for him to be free is crushed. This is a blow to the New York hip-hop scene. I know people don't want to acknowledge it. A lot of older people don't respect drill and all this shit. But, you know, I'm going to tell you like this. The only shit that's really popping out of New York is drill. Nobody give a fuck about a Locks album or a fucking really French Montana, all this. Nobody really, that. nobody checking for that shit, for real. What's really going on and what's really, really, really counting in the New York City streets is drill. That's what's popping right now. Like it or not. Seriously. And that's why you see all these dudes, these, these French Montana signing D-Dang and all them and trying to get on the drill track with them and all these dudes. Nobody give a fuck about Dave East and all these other dudes. It's just true. Nobody cares about that. Yes, they can rhyme. Yes, they're lyricists. But that shit ain't what's going on in today's world. Like it or not. I mean, you could like it and, and whatever. You could still respect it, but they're not the ones that are selling. It's these young boys. It's the shy EKs. It's the, you know what I mean? Uh, it was K Flock and all these other boys, D thing. And you know what I'm saying? Like, that's what's really, really moving. Uh, 2 2 Gs, all these other dudes from Brooklyn, you know, Freshie the General, all these other dudes from Brooklyn and everything. That's what's going on right now. And he was a big, big part of it. He was and is a big big part of it and now they are basically cutting the head off the snake especially in the drill rap scene in the bronx because you can say what you want but these dudes these uh k flock was really the the leader of all this shit i'm just saying like as far as like relevancy and all that shit he's up there with the top dudes in drill in new york and especially in the bronx he's one top two or three you know, so it's sad. It really is. You know, another kid possibly throwing his life away. I'm just saying because, look, the feds, listen, 
when the feds come, they got you. 90, they have like a 99, 98% um, conviction rate. You know why that is? Because when they sit your ass down in that fucking room, if you don't snitch, they go down all the things they got on you. Yeah, we got this conversation. Oh, yeah, and then you hear your man. Yeah, yeah, that's 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 your people's, right? Yeah, he wrote a statement on you. Yeah, he's been snitching. He's been working for us for the last eight months. Remember that little murder y'all did together and all that? Remember he rode you to, to go spin on it? Yeah, he, he told us about that. We know about that. Yeah, that's what happens. That's why they that's why they don't they don't they have such a high conviction rate because ninety percent of the people don't even go to trial with it. They don't go to trial with it because they know if I go to trial, I'm gonna get my head knocked off. That's why you see them taking such crazy numbers. People be taking 25, 30 from the feds without going to trial. And you like, damn, you gotta give me 39. Not when you're facing a hundred years. You might take that 30 at you know what I'm saying? Like, so it is what it is, man. Prayers out to him. You know, I'm not going to sit here and pretend like he was a, like angel and all this shit. But he's a young kid. He grew up in a fucked up environment. He probably didn't have too many people to look up to that were trying to push him in a positive direction. And, you know, now he's going to have to live with all the little things that he did, man. And he threw away a very promising career where he could have taken himself, his family, and possibly some of his friends out of the ghetto and, and change the course of their lives and their families' lives forever. Instead, he'll probably be sitting in somebody's penitentiary for the better part of the rest of his life. If not the rest of his life, because like I said, there's it's a life without parole, natural life he could be facing or the death penalty. So that tells me they got him for a couple of things. Prayers up for K-Flock. Prayers up for his family. Much love and respect to everybody that checks for me. Even the ones that hate me. Respect y'all all, man. Till the next time. Peace.